Let's go. All right, what's up, my friends? Welcome. Lava Dart is in modern, and it's time to blister burn. Lava Dart's a classic. One of the OGs. The OGs. Yes, Lava Dart is awesome. And uh, for one mana for two spells, well, that plays really, really well with prowess. And uh, Blister Burn is the prowess deck. If you're unfamiliar with this deck, I've played it on stream before. Uh, it's basically the mono red Arclight Phoenix deck minus the Arclight Phoenixes because they're pretty awkward in that deck. Uh, if you don't draw Faithless Looting, it's kind of hard to get them into the graveyard and can make things really, really awkward. So we're just prowessing it up here. We are a super, super aggressive deck. Uh, 10 prowess, 1 drops with Blister Coil Weird, the deck's namesake. Uh, standing in as the ninth and 10th copies of Monastery of Sospir slash Soul Scar Mage. And we're just casting a lot of spells in a very short time frame and killing our opponent very quickly. Uh, is this deck better than regular burn? This deck is worse against creature removal, but much faster. This deck can kill on turn three unimpeded over and over and over and over again. But if your opponent's playing a lot of removal, then this deck is worse because you're more reliant on your creatures. But deck is very explosive, very powerful. Um, I love Crash Through a lot, uh, Cantrip, Prowess Trigger, and then making your, your 4-5 Prowess creatures have Trample is awesome. And uh, Light Up Stage, Manamorphose, two Revelers to Reload, all uh, the usual stuff here. Uh, we got four Darts and two Gut Shots, not totally sure on this split there, but we're, uh, we're trying out Lava Dart today, that's our big goal. And then uh, four copies of Sunbaked Canyon, uh, the new Horizon Canopy lands, very good for any hyper-aggressive deck. Uh, flooding is bad, and these things help you not flood. So simple as that. Cyborg, of course, the um, how do you say it? Hagak or Hagak or whatever bridge and below deck is uh, very popular, of course. Uh, so we got our surgicals and our graph diggers cage. Uh, we got a molten rain, just a miser's molten rain. Uh, a braid, got to kill that chalice to the void. We got rending valley against humans and spirits, and we got shrine of burning rage. This card is really really cool. Um, in any fair matchup. Play this on turn two. This will deal a lot of damage. A uh, very powerful card. Let's go. Blister Burn. And this new Magic Online overlay that's confusing. Uh, Modern League. Play points. No, not Tron. Change decks. Blister Burn. Ooh, that's kind of cool. A little arena-esque uh, deck viewer. It's cute. Uh, submit. Uh, go. Lock it in. We were playing Jeskai Sahili before this, uh, the deck I played at SCG Con at the Invitational. And I didn't do great at the Invitational, but I top aided the Modern Summer Championship with Jeskai Sahili. Deck's really good. Uh, it was pre Modern Horizons, but deck very, very powerful. And uh, there'll be a full article on that on CoolStuffInc.com on Friday. And my article today on CoolStuffInc.com is my video article where I play an early version of a deck in a more experimental video. I tried something new this week where I tried playing the base idea of a four-color Sahili deck. Just put the idea in and talk my way through the process. So if you ever want to see what the beginning of a deck building process looks like, this video is it. Check it out, CoolStuffInc.com. And of course, the article Friday will be on Jeskai Sahili. Uh... I don't think this is a good hand in our 18 land deck, so we'll ship this one. Better. Basically, this deck you want every hand to have a one mana prowess creature, hence why we're playing 10 of them. So, uh, boot him. Boot him. Uh, they have changed the leagues on Magic Online now. Uh, there is no differentiation in leagues anymore. It used to be a competitive league or a friendly league, now it's all just the same modern league. They're consolidating. Swift Spear. Steam Vents. Please don't kill my Swift Spear. Sweet. Why are you feeling down, Rudy? You're winning. Any reason it's not a 2 2 split between Sunbay Canyon and Fiery? Eyes, eyes, Eyeslit? Islet? How do you say that? I can't pronounce anything! I'm dumb. Um, I, obviously, you could split them. It's probably the more efficient thing to do. It just doesn't really matter that much. Alright, well, that's a good draw, too. Uh, light them up. Do I wait a turn? Maybe I just wait a turn. 
Next turn I have Manamorphose, Spike, Spike. I'll draw a spell next turn. Just get, just get it in this turn for sure. Drawing a, a, a card for turn and a card off Manamorphose, so... Jiggy Wiggy says, I was a Cheerios player in your Cool Stuff video. Shh, no spoilers. No spoilers. It's funny, actually, in that video... I'll, I'll give you a spoiler. Ben Friedman. So I show up to SCGCon. I was staying with Ben Friedman, the Jessups, and Nicole. And Ben shows up. He's like, I'm playing Just Guys to Healy. And I'm like, me too. So we talked about it and stuff. And apparently I played against Ben in my video in the first round. He was playing Sahili, And he top decked Feldar Guardian on me two games in a row. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, we played on uh, on Wednesday. I drew out on you both times. I was like, oh, you're in the video. All right. Blister Core, weird, weird not idea here. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jiggy. It's fine. Spoilers are obviously fun. It's not a spoiler, it's a, it's a teaser. You know? The sleight of hand, metamorphose, red, red. That's a whammy. Uh, boom. Seasoned Pyromancer? I don't really know. I haven't played with that card yet. I'm going to brew some, mo some modern decks up over the next few days. I obviously just got back from uh, SGCon last night, so I haven't really gotten to do a ton. Um, but, uh, I'll be bringing some stuff up pretty soon. Looking forward to experimenting a bit. We have exact lethal here. This is very fortunate for us. Turn three kill. Opt. You are dead. I hate to tell you, but you are dead. I have exact damage on turn three. You're dead. Pew! I love this deck. This deck is so awesome. Like, if that gut shot was a lava dart, would have been a lot of extra damage. Taste it. So, sleight of hand, serum visions opt. Probably playing, is it Phoenix? I would assume. Um, these gut shots can go. Um, I don't think I want surgical against them. Maybe I do. Like, Rending Volley deals with uh, Thing in the Ice, which is obviously a kind of big problem. Yeah, they played Sulphur Falls. They're probably not playing Storm. A lot of uh, Phoenix lists play one Sulphur Falls. Uh, they might bring in some Graveyard Hate against me, because they would probably think I'm playing... Uh, I guess I played the Weird, so they might not think I'm playing Phoenix. But cool thing about this deck is people think you're playing Arclight Phoenix, so they, br they bring in Graveyard Hate against you and you have no you have no phoenixes all right um it's rending volley or surgical extraction i don't hate shrine either honestly in a fair matchup I'm just bring the shrine just kill him we're not sure if they're playing thing in the ice yet I'm also not sure if they're playing phoenix or not um yeah but graveyard hate can turn off reveler for sure but you can just cut the revelers you know you don't they're not necessary um. All right. I guess surgical is good against. They could be, they'd be playing like a blue red control deck or something. I was playing to bring these things in. I'll just kill them. Kill them. Thanks for following Order Corner. If you haven't followed this, hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome back, everyone. Okay. Uh, let's keep. Normally, a few land hands are kind of eh, but we have a, a little sun baked canyon here. Okay. Swifty. Swifty. Splinter Twin is in the format. It's Feldar Guardian. Article Friday. Live, 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 live. Don't die. Live. I'm not sure what the right number of these is. Um, it's possibly as high as six. Um, we're obviously playing Lava Dart, so there is a cost to playing non-mountains in our deck. Ooh, they're playing Storm. Wow. Okie dokie. Minus three car and resub. Welcome back. Happy belated, Jim, and thanks for the 16 months of great content. 
Thanks, my friend. Thanks for resubbing. Appreciate the support. You are awesome. Do I think Thousand Year Storm decks are still viable? Were they ever viable in the first place? Boom! Storm's interesting. So obviously we can bring in our Surgicals for Game 3. Um, are you going to kill us? I have a drum set ready to go. No, you're not. Uh, that's a lot of lands. Okay, so... Lava Dart's going to be the worst shock ever here, but it is two spells, which is cool. So we'll just Lava Dart them. Let's spike him. And Lava Dart the Goblin. And flashback Lava Dart. And Fly Mountain. And Tacker 4. GLHF. Uh, Burn probably wants four canyons for sure. And the question is, how many more do you want on top of that, of off-color red canopy lens? Alright, so we need literally any spell here for the most part. We'll kill them. They're at four. Serum Vision's top, bottom, opt, opt top, Serum Vision's top, bottom, Serum Vision's bottom, bottom. All right, spell me. Uh, that'll do it. Let's just draw a card at this first, though, because that's fun. Ah. Pew! Oh, look, it's exact damage again. Turn four kill. Not turn three, but blister burn. Get some hype in chat for blister burn. Get a little noise in here. Lava Dart is great. I'm gonna get a blast through this league. Blister Blast. Remember, everyone, check out bcwsupplies.com. Uh, BCW Supplies, I've been using their gear for literally the last four years. Every tournament I've played in the last four years, I have used the BCW Supplies gaming line. Uh, their deck boxes are awesome. Their binders are awesome. Their new sleeves are awesome. The Elite 2 deck guards, best sleeves in the market. Uh, the deck lockers, it's all on here. My entire collection is in these binders. Um, the zipper binders are phenomenal. They've been across the country and back again dozens of times. I would say possibly in the 100 range at this point. Uh, not that one. The zipper one. It's all on there. They're checking out bcwsupplies.com. And you can use uh, code JIM10 for 10% off your order on, cool st on uh, uh, bcwsupplies.com. So that's it, double darting the goblin. Uh, well, they're not going to block, and then we got to kill it. Ooh, his hand's spicy. Darts for days. This is what I was saying about the, you know, the downside of not being a mountain being a thing. You know, we need three mountains to flash back these lava darts. Possible four darts is too many. You might just want three. There's definitely diminishing returns there. There are dozens of us. All right. Blister burn. Blister burn. Got our turn one one drop. Ink Moth Nexus, go. Well, if they're playing uh, Infect, I'd imagine that Lava Dart's pretty good against Infect, so that's kind of cool. Um, lava Dart, Lava Dart. Gotta get your Judgment Lava Darts, too. Back in the day, Red Deck wins. Raise your hand in chat if you remember Red Deck wins. Jackal Pup, Goblin Cadet, Cursed Scroll. I want to see some hands in chat. Oh, yeah. Take that shock. Okay. Yeah. That is uh, that is a one ball. Light up the stage. Um. Okay. I think we're willing to just dart light here. I should not play the land, that was stupid. I should never have to. Uh, Alright, let's try this. Still have the curse scrolls. I like it. What do you think of little TEF in Infect? What do I think of Lil Teferi and Infect? Very good. Someone top eight at the uh, the modern summer challenge with that. 
Teferi's good and everything. Teferi's just busted. Um. Hey everyone. Okay. I think we're gonna just hold this gut shot. We could pump it off now, but we can just wait. It's like we get lava dart and gut shot this turn. It's an extra four damage. Whew. Where should they go though? Blister burn. Wouldn't mind drawing a land next turn, honestly. A mountain. They had a lot of prowess triggers next turn. We draw a mountain. It's a gut shot, bolt, dart, flashback, flashback. It's five spells. That's That's gotta be lethal. Pawn says in chat, I feel like my deck lines up poorly against lava dart and gut shot. I think you're right. I think you're right. All right, so we're going to untap. Uh, didn't drop a land. We drew another gut shot, though. Uh, I don't hate crash through. Tries and draws. Tries to draw a land. I also don't know if I want to try and fight this Blighted Agent or not. I think I kind of do. I have two gut shots now. They would need multiple pump spells. And every spell we cast, obviously, is just another... Uh, Prowess trigger. Do I want to cash crash through? Is the is the question, and try and draw a land. Um, if I do that, I have access to three removal spells. So I, I got to cast the bolt and the gut shot. I don't think I do. Um, I think we just start by gut shotting the blighted agent. I think finale promise is a little too clunky. I don't think it's necessary. Blossoming defense. Okay. Um, so now... You could just try and attack them, too. Um, this is two. Bolt, bolt, dart is three, six, seven. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Gut shots, twelve, thirteen. Um... The thing is that they block, and then we just lose our Swiss spear because it'll it'll be it'll do the infect damage. I want to kill this this, this blighted agent. So if they block, it's hard it's harder to kill them. And we want you know, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We do have twelve damage if we draw more mountains. Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're we're gonna fight over this. Oh wait, uh, let's just gut shot. All right, sure. Uh, that, and that, and now they are 12, they are dead. Pew! Pew, pew, pew! What's that? Is that exact damage again? Another turn three kill? Take that, in fact. God, this deck is so sweet. So sweet. People are playing unfair. A deck like this kills really, really fast. So they're playing Infect. Uh, I don't know if we change much, honestly. Like, don't really need more removal. We have four Lava Dart, two Gut Shot, four Lightning Bolts. Like, maybe we want the Abrades over the Mutagenic Growths, but I kind of want to just kill them fast anyway. Um, that's true. Spell Sky, it's a card. Um, Phoenix just isn't reliable in the mono red decks because if you don't draw Faithless Looting, which isn't very good, you know. Um, I don't hate, I don't hate cutting Reveler. It's a little slow. The, the thing is that like whenever your opponent's not gonna kill your creatures, your prowess creatures are just so good. They're basically just one mana four fives. So like, if they're not gonna kill your creatures, you're just gonna goldfish them. So you don't need a card like Reveler. I do like do like the idea of a braid uh, to kill Spellskite and just as extra removal. Uh, and let's let's cack off one of these mutagenic growths. I like this a lot. Let's do it. 
Let's do it. Well, yeah, you, you mulligan the non-prowess one-drop hands. That's why you have ten of them. Hence, blister coil weird. Not the hero we need. Or, it is the hero we need, actually. It's also the only one we deserve right now. Speak of the devil. Look, I have Modern Horizons packs. If I get five new subs in the next 40 minutes, I'll open one on stream. And maybe do a giveaway. If I open a certain card or something. The last sub will get to name a card. If I open it, I'll give it away. Uh, keeps keys. PP, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. That's one. 40 minutes to get four more subs. New subs. All right, they shocked. Butt Battler, thanks for the bits, my friend. Love these names, you're all great. All right, um, it's not bad. There's Blister Coil here. We actually don't have any interaction, which is a little scary, but Coral, don't gift them. Gifted subs don't count. You can give subs if you want to, but a lot of people, people here have their own vocation. Glistener Elf, go. We could just die here. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's like it's dope. All right, so they have four cards in hand. I think maybe we just let them kill us if we're going to die. No, you get the subs are great. Cool, you can get as many subs as you want. I'm just saying, I want some... People to choose their own path and destiny here. Duncan. You the bomb, Duncan. Thanks for the resub. I think we just let them kill us. If they have the full suite of cards to kill us, maybe we leave back the weird. Oh, she's gonna untap, right? Expert shot, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Alright, yeah, what's this spear? We can growth to untap the weird. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'll just... Jordan, resub. Welcome back. S crash through. That's better next turn, I think. Let's just Lava Spike this turn. Paradise Mantle? No. This is a prowess creature. New sub is Cable, and you're from the future. Cable, why have you come to come to our past? What trouble befells us in the future here? That's two new subs, so three more, we'll open a Modern Horizons pack. And the fifth sub, we'll get to name a card, Modern Horizons, and if I open it, I'll give it away. Well born, resub, welcome back. Tup Sway. Yes, if they don't block, we're going to growth and untap this. We have a blocker for this listener elf. And then try and kill them next turn, most likely. There's no good magic content in the future. It's a grim place. Man, that's tough. How far in the future are you from, Cable? Like a day or two? Opponents have a tank here. They could block the blister coil weird and they'll die. All right, so they're going to block the blister, the blister coil weird. Um, which is fine. I mean, obviously it's going to kill my weird, but what is prowess? It's the ability on Monastery to Spear. Whenever you play a non-creature spell, creature gets bigger. So we are playing a bunch of prowess creatures and a bunch of spells and killing people fast. I'm just going to take the, the three here. What else happened in the future, Cable? Anything good? All right, so they take five. Um, they have Pump Spell here. Just, if they have Pump Spell and kill us, no, they have, they have one Pump Spell. Two Pump Spells. So they are very unlikely to untap and kill us once they have that new card. No, they don't seem to. Okay. Oh, they have they have become immense. Alright. 
That's fine. So they had their their ideal draw on the play, and they uh, they got us. They had to use four pump spells and have turn two, Glistener Elf plus Noble Hierarch. So just turn three format. Just turn three format. You know. Um, once again, folks, if you're just tuning in, you can always type in explanation point deck for the deck list. Uh, you can see the deck. All right. So now we're back. Now we're back on the play. I'm feeling fine here. Just trade and turn three kills. Captain Jack, you're a mod now. I knight thee, Sir Captain Jack, the moderator. Unlimited power. Don't get drunk with it, alright? You're an Avenger now. Alright. Uh, this is no prowess creatures, so we got to mulligan. Need that action. So, mulligan. That is also no prowess creatures. That is bad. That is bad. Um, yeah, we're going to ship it again. I mean... <laughs> only got ten of them. Alright, we'll keep. Uh, bottom. Alright, um, we're in trouble. Our damage output is severely limited. We don't have a prowess creature. Uh, I guess we're just lava spiking. I was going to hold it, honestly. Like... Do we gut shot that? Comments on the new Chandra's? What are the new Chandra's? <sighs> yeah, this feels bad. Uh, we're one now. I'm not sure why the why the uh, record thing's not working, but oh no! <laughs> Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. What's up, Anthony? How's it going, my friend? Happy to see you on chat. Three new Chandras for M from M20. Three new Chandras? They're really going that deep on uh, on more Planeswalkers? That sounds ridiculous. Alright. Um, we do have a Braid for Spellskite. Yeah, we're just going to say go. And a Braid the Spellskite when they tap out. They're going to fetch ends that probably. No? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty surprising. I think they've really saturated the Planeswalker market here. Um, I'm kind of surprised they're, they're playing more, they're printing more Planeswalkers. I mean, we are probably just super dead here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's make three more Teferis. Alright, uh, we're in trouble. Definitely in trouble. Yeah, I mean, you can see obviously how, how poor of a deck looks when we, we don't draw the creature. Uh, which kind of stinks, but I mean, if they have a way to kill us, they're just gonna kill us. Whatever. Light up stage. Lava dart, snow covered mountain. Uh, it's not ideal. I mean, we can just fire off lava dart, blighted agent, make them pay two life. And we can just do it again, make them pay two life again. Holy crap, dude. Okay. They get a nine. I'm not really sure what we're drawing to here, but Spell Sky's pretty good against us. I like that we brought in the Abrade, so obviously it just didn't really work out, but 
Um, put some at seven. What's up, Tez? Yeah, so the multi five, no creature hand. Probably doesn't pan out here. Ink Moth Nexus. They have two spells in hand. Scale up. This is a smart card to print. You know, just good just good magic design here. This card will do nothing but make Infect really annoying. Good idea. Another spell sky? Okay. Um okay. Red, red, mountain, canyon, draw, mountain, Swift Spear. Ah, Swift Spear. Where you been all my life? I think, uh, I think we're dead, folks. This game has not panned out uh, to our liking. And then the game two game, I mean, like, they turned three to us with four pump spells. Like, they, they had to have a block, multiple pump spells to kill the blocker, and then multiple pump spells to kill us. So, 3M game 2 is pretty ideal. This game is more our hand just being bad, but that's fine. That's fine. 1-1. One one. Blister Burn's still sweet. That game went to turn 5. Alright. Turn 5. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? That game went to turn 5. Alright. Round 3. Blister Burn. Let's go. Once again, you folks are tuning in, make sure you hit that follow button, of course. Watching on YouTube, make sure you follow in there. Don't forget, subscribing to the stream. Is the best way to support me as a magic player and a streamer. It's my full time gig. So I do for a living. That's right. And uh, $5 a month gets you access to my private Discord chat server, my deck list before tournaments in that server, um, all my emotes, no ads, access to my, my, my VODs on demand, uh, free contests like Survivor Football Leagues and stuff with prizes, and of course the warm feeling of knowing you're supporting a content creator who's doing what they love. So thank you so much. I love you all. And again, if we get three more subs in the next half an hour, I'll open a Modern Horizons pack. And the fifth sub gets the name of Modern Horizons card, Rare or Mythic. And if I open it, I'll give it away. We're going to keep mostly because of this card. Eldrazi Temple, Simeon Spirit Guide, Chalice the Void. We lose. All right. Reveler's not bad. That's a pretty good draw. Uh, our hand's not great. We got to draw another spell or two, but... Reveler plays pretty nicely. Um, do I want to growth right now? I think I do. Just like player on Chalice the Void. Yeah, Scale Up's just like a stupid card. I don't know why they would print that card. Matter Reshaper. Powerful magic card. Powerful magic card. Alright, we need to please stop drawing lands. Any spell. That costs one mana. <laughs> 18 lands, folks. 18 lands. Uh, well, now we can't attack. So, it's your turn, I guess. Man, come on, Blister Burn. I sing your praises. We obviously kept a slightly land heavy hand, but we had Canyon, we had Canyon. We're playing a uh, only eighteen lands, so I know um Ryan Overturf played a deck similar to this in a, a PTQ, and I believe he played like sixteen or seventeen lands. Possibly have too many. I wanted to err on the side of uh of more lands than less because we're playing the canyons. And you really need to drew need to draw your first two lands, so Alright, I imagine we are dead here. They have turn 3 Reality Smasher, which is pretty ideal on the play. A draw, sorry, draw. Soul Scar Mage. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not, not really what we're looking for. Alright, that's a start. That is, uh, that is the beginning of something possibly, uh, reasonable. Why not play some fetches? Because deck thinning is a myth. It is such, it has such a small... Oh my god. Blast Zone is really good against us. 
This matchup seems hard. Um, they have Chalice, the Void, and Blast Zone. That seems tough, honestly. Uh, we're going to bring in a Braid, the Shrines, and the Molten Rain. We're going to cut all the crappy ones. Uh... I guess Lava Dart is two prowess triggers with the Chalice in play. Um, so maybe we actually want to keep the Lava Darts and just cut, like... I mean, Mutagenic Growth is fine because it sizes up a little bit so we can attack into their creatures. It's a nice little surprise. Bolts and Spikes. Crash Through. I guess Crash Through is not super important. So maybe the double trigger on Lava Darts is better. Right, let's cut the crash throughs. Uh, I'm not sure about this, but it's pretty hard to lower our one mana spell count too much because our deck's all one mana spells. But we'll try. We'll try our best. Order core new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Need two more subs. To open um, uh, modern horizons back. Uh, this hand's dope. Molten Rain. All day, every day. Blister Boy. One blistery boy. One blistery boy. They mulligan to six, and they scry to the top. Uh, dismember. Which member? That makes our hand worse. Um, never mind, we're good. Pew! No, can't cast that one. Light him up. Another, actually, I made a mistake, actually, because now I want to cast Molten Rain next turn, but now I have to cast this light up a stage. I think that was actually a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. Uh, I was just happy to draw a a way to do it. I don't know. We'll see. Um, hard casting light up stage is pretty bad. Now obviously have chalice too. Yeah, this is pretty hard. Um, new sub is Ryan from Alabama. Been playing since Dark Ascension. Awesome, Ryan. Thanks for subbing. Appreciate that. Yeah, well, uh, they're probably going to natural trauma me too, right? Probably. I'm going to cast this light up a stage, try and find an abrade. Did it. Did it. Now I need to cast a braid instead of molten rain again, but... So rude. Yeah, what the hell happened to Modern? Modern got really gross, like, really, really fast. Like, the stupid stupid new Graveyard deck. They powered up Infect. They powered up these decks. Like, all of the super goldfishy decks got a lot better. Key, 13 month resub. Welcome back. Oh, look. They do have Natural Drum. Just your casual mulligan to five. Turn one dismember, turn two chalice on one, turn three natural tron karn. And you get a transfer here probably. Walking ballista? That's the best possible card you can get. Problem is I have to cast the braids. I can't even cast molten rain. Let me just get the micro sin thing next turn and kill me. I was gonna braid. I can growth too, actually. All right, this actually isn't that bad. Uh, they're gonna play a huge ballista, but what am I gonna do? You know. Uh, swift spear. And I guess we're just casting this. Mm. 
See if we can kill their their beat their perfect hand here. So they play a large ballista. Yeah, just casual, just casual natural Tron ten man on turn four, Steldrazi Tron things, nothing too crazy. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna fire off some shots here and try and save this. We're gonna waste two more counters off the ballista. Yeah, I think this is fine. I'll shoot the, uh, actually, I'm sorry, I'll shoot the, uh, the ballista. So now they have to fire up the last shot. It's gonna die. Uh, so we end up we end up molten raining their Tron land and hoping their hand is just like big, dumb, expensive things. I guess that's not bad. It's a path to victory for sure. Ha! We chose right. We're so smart. Look how smart we are. Red, red. Sure. Get this Shrine of Burning Rage train rolling here. What a waste. Alright. Smash is a thing, but we do have two draw two cards coming next turn. Next to Sunbay Canyon. Three. Uh I'll take best draw in the deck for 1,000, Alex. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Uh, they're not dead, because we can't do everything. The shrine costs three to activate. We can like set up lethal for next turn. Um, I think we're just going to dart them. Uh, all right. Do you bolt them or dart them? I can just bolt them. We have Reveler to block a, a second Smasher, so we can't die to that. Spectacle. Yes, I know we can, we can shrink the Smasher. I don't think that matters. Because we're going to kill him next turn with the Shrine of Burning Rage anyway, so... Uh, that is not enough to kill them. But it is still good. All right, so they go to... I guess maybe we just don't even attack. There's no way they can, like, remove a blocker and play Smasher. It's just, yeah, it's attack. Mindstone. Can you imagine that we actually just won this game? They went turn one Dismember, turn two Chalice, turn three Natural Tron Karn, turn four Extra Tower, Ballista on five. Shrine of Burning Rage. Every turn it gets counter, every red spell gets counter, tap three, sack it, deal damage, equal to the number of counters on it. In this case, it's seven, eight on our turn, nine with Lava Dart, ten with Flashback. Boom! I get some hype and chat for that game. Jeez. That was a game. Their draw was perfect. Literally perfect. And Blister Burn took him down. Game. Blouses. Game. Blister Boys. Uh, this hand is good. Please, God, don't challenge me. Point of Mulligan's six. We're going to keep. 
Oh, he drew well for sure, but. No chalice, please. Um, I think I'd rather get Soul Scar Mage and Blaving get the one extra damage. Affirmative. Acknowledged. Please don't play chalice. Unit ready. Unit lost. I'm working on the soundboard. I'm working on it. I just got home. I just got home yesterday, folks. All right, take it easy. Please, God, dismember me. I don't know why you do it now and not on your turn, but boom. Oh my God, they had it. Wow. That was sick that they waited that long to cast this member. Still got four damage. It's not that bad, but ugh, that's brood. How sick is that they waited that long to cast this member? That's wild. Attack. Um. All right. If I bolt them now, I can't attack. It's harder. It's hard to attack again next turn. So I'm fine just waiting. Yeah, these things are really good in this deck. Like, if we drew five lands, we probably could never win. But the fact that we have two canopy lands is really good. And pizza's great. 20-month resub. What's up, one? Thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. We got about 13 minutes left to get two more subs, and I'll open a pack of Modern Horizons. And the fifth sub, we'll get to name a card in the set. If I open it, I'll give it away. Gotta do that promotion stuff while waiting for our opponent here is in the tank. They're in the tank. Can you describe the pizza in full detail as you eat it? On it. For the love of God, you're playing Aldrazi Tron, alright? It's not rocket science. Well, while we're waiting, everyone up oh, see works every time. Works every time. I go to shill, they make a play. Oh, now they stop because they heard me. While we're waiting, everyone check me out on Twitter. Atrium Davis MTG, give me a follow. Angrath Metal. Look. We had a sub meetup. I didn't plan it very well. But we uh went down to a trivia um before SGCon and uh Esper and Track showed up. And we came in like 10th place in trivia. We didn't do very well. <laughs> Most, mostly my fault, though, because uh, I, I misclicked like a few of the answers. You get points, bonus points for answering quickly. And I, I may have answered quickly, too quickly, a few times. But uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I'll do a, a more formal sub meetup at an event in the future um, where I actually do a better job planning it. But it's a lot of fun. Follow me on Twitter, at JimDavisMTG. And also, look. Burnsy and Jeroot tokens. Awesome. Inkwin Customs is great. Oh, God. I'm good. Opponent! Come on. It's magic trivia. Karn the Great Creator. All right. Although me, me, uh, Nicole, Ross, and Calcano went to uh, bar trivia on Friday night, and we came in third place out of, like, 20 teams. It was really fun. 
Damn, that's aggressive. Uh, so they can lattice us next turn. I have a decent amount of draws that kill them next turn. But if we don't draw one, he might need to kill his Mind Stone so they can't lattice us. Alright, this is fine. Huh. That does it. That's four damage, right? Yes, it is. Right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bam! You're dead. Pew, 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 pew. Lava dart all day, every day. Sweet. That was pretty good. That magic seems pretty tough for us. And we took it down. Took it down. Why only 10 prowess creatures? You can't draw too many of them because there's diminishing returns. If you have three prowess creatures in play and you draw a prowess creature, it's really bad. So you gotta find the right number exactly. I played 11 previously. I'm currently playing 10. Um, may or may not be correct. Oh, that's cheer. And Beta Ray Ryan, new sub. We only need one more sub for this Modern Masters pack, or whatever it is. Nine minutes left. Ryan, what's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. I want to open this pack. And remember, the next person to sub gets to name the card in this pack. Rare or Mythic. And if I open it, I'll give it away live on stream. So we got some downtime here to make up for Mad Magic Online. Magic Online ain't too, ain't too choppy, you know? We're sitting here in stage one. Don't know what stage two is, but uh, waiting for our opponent. Red Kreplin, resub. Resubs are good. We need new subs. We're currently at 679 subscribers. I want more. I want more. <laughs> That song stuck in my head. Meatballs, new sub. Meatballs. Name a card. Name a card, a rare or mythic. What's up, Esper? Name a card in rare or mythic. Name a rare or mythic card in Modern Horizons. And if I open it, I'll give it away live on stream. Meatball, it's all you. Meatballs, one, two, three, four, five. It's all on you, my friend. Name a card. Rare or mythic. And we'll give it away. Yeah, I want to play first. Yeah. Uh, we got to keep this one. Check light up a stage. Make sure you at me too so I, so I, don't, so I don't miss it, alright? Alright, we're going to keep. The blue-red horizon land? Alright. We interrupt your regular scheduled uh, magic playing to open up a booster pack. If we open the Red Blue Horizon Land, we will give it away live on stream. Here we go. Um, I believe this is backwards, right? Yeah, the, the rare is like right in the front. So we'll go like this. We'll go. Chiller Pillar, Spore Frog, Prohibit, Savage Swipe, Sliver, Smiting Helix, cute. Sliver, nope, Scrapyard, Recombiner, and Planes, and Art thing, and an emblem. No dice. Thanks for playing, though. Appreciate it. New subs are awesome. Love y'all. All right. Anyway, Soulscar Mage, your turn. Yeah, Nicole, Nic Nicole was looking over the spoiler before the pre-release, and she was like, this future side card looks really fun. So obviously she, she opens it and just crushes everyone with it. It was uh it was very, very good. Alright, what's um let's Ooh, Godless Shrine. I figured there was a mana creature coming. Well, our hand's pretty redundant. They're gonna take our light up a stage though, it kinda sucks. We gotta draw a land here, probably. Meatballs, you do not let anybody down. You played your hardest, and that's that's what we ask for here. Five more subs? Alright. We'll start the next game at 1 o'clock and we'll go for an hour. Same same rules. Alright. Alright, so. Let's draw land here, I guess. 
right. I don't know what they're playing. Windswept Heath into Godless Shrine is pretty weird. But we're just going to crank it out. We're taking for a lot next turn. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14 next turn. I like these decks better than Monored Phoenix, yes. I think Monored Phoenix is way too reliant on... Uh, sure. It's way too reliant on drawing Faithless Looting. Otherwise, the Phoenix is just never go to the graveyard. They are playing Abzan. Treetop Village Thoughtseize. Um, we draw any burns. They put the Lava Dart in the graveyard? <gasps> any spell. Any spell. Any spell. Thanks for following, everyone. That's a mountain. God damn it. Um, I could draw a free spell. Gut shot or what's it called? <sighs> Growth. Gut shot. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you are so dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Turn three. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Wanna see what John got me for my birthday? It's a uh It's a screaming goat. That's what that's what John got me for my birthday. It's very practical. See so it's a goat, it's a screaming goat, and you you squeeze it and it screams. That's what I got for my birthday. So uh goat. What do you think of that last turn? <laughs> Happy birthday to me. All right. Um, Abzan is going to have a lot of removal for us. Um, we are going to want these shrines for sure. Molten Rain is like doable. Reveler is going to be good. They might think we're playing Phoenix. They might bring in some sort of kind of graveyard hate, but I don't think they'll have like Leyline or anything. Um, we're going to cut the uh, the low impact cards, the gut shots, and I think we're going to cut like one mutagenic growth. Um, this is not going to be easy. If they have like collective brutality or things like that, I guess that the free spells actually play well against brutality. So maybe I cut a dart and leave in the growth. Um, okay. The shrine should be really good here. Uh, and we're going to lean pretty hard on Reveler and light up a stage because they're going to be able to one for one us decently well. But and how many turn three kills did we have in this, in this, in this league so far? Like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. 12, 12. How many? Nicole just brought John to Amazon.com and was like, let's get Jim's birthday presents. And that's the way that's what we ended up with. My old gaffer! All of you content love E E E T Fav streamer now. Thanks, Gaffer. I appreciate it. Happy to have you back. Eight months. Alright. Um Our hand is pretty risky in that if they kill our first two creatures, it's pretty bad. But like this is probably getting fatal pushed. Maybe they're gonna like not play a creature here. Actually, that might have been smarter. It's like so obvious they have removal. I guess they get to like get a tap land, so their mana is better. But uh, so they Tarmogoyf here. Or Termager. Alright. I mean, we have Mutagenic Gross and stuff. It's pretty good. Canyon's good, too. Alright. We're doing stuff here. Um, place to Spear. We can... Growth. That makes it a 3-4. It's not big enough to kill a Tarmogoyf. I don't want to blow my whole load here just to kill a Tarmogoyf. You know? Um... 
he has lava spike, it's a prowess trigger, but it puts a makes the target go bigger. Um Oh right, four five. Correct. I'm dumb. I forgot the prowess trigger. How could I forget the prowess trigger? For God's sakes, we're playing a prowess deck. What is blister burn? You're looking at it. All right, this is fine. Fortunately, if they kill my Sift Spear now, uh, we're in a bit of trouble. But we can just draw a, a Revel or something. It'd be cool. All right, now what? Ooskies? That's super awkward. Uh, all right. Well, let's draw a way to remove that. I guess technically that does remove that. Uh, all right. We're going to uh, cast some spells here. And I guess we're just going to Lava Dart, Flashback, kill the Ooze when they, when they try to get the Suspear. So let's uh, Metamorphose. Red Red's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, they might they might they might they might be dead now if they don't block. So they could have path too, but we're just shoving. God damn it. Alright, well we at least get to uh lava dart kill the scavenging ooze, which is a mild victory. Um Thanks, Imbuement. If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Welcome. Uh, we're playing some Modern today. I'm playing some Blister Burn. Uh, I was at SCG Con last weekend. I didn't do great in the Invitational, but I top aided the Sunday Modern Summer Championship playing Jeskai Sahili. Ink the deck is very, very good. Um, I have a video up today on CoolStuffInc.com about a early version of a deck I was working on last week. And then my article on Friday will be a complete guide to the deck. So make sure you check that out, CoolStuffInc.com. Complete guide to Just Guys Healy. Splinter Twin's back. Splinter Twin is back. God damn it, that was the worst case scenario. We have. There are three creatures in all graveyards. Yeah, the gross are really bad in a matchup like this. Uh, as you can obviously see, unfortunately. Uh, the Hogak deck seems busted, yes. I've not played it yet, but, um, I will probably be playing it at some point soon. Yeah. I mean, I am pretty sure we can no longer win. I guess the Sospear is, like, 3, 6, 7 damage, but... Bedlam Reveler. Whoop. Mountain. Hey Jim, how's it going? Eternal Madness, 16 month resub. You the bomb, Eternal Madness. Thanks for the resub. Appreciate that. So tough game here. Uh, spot removal plus Tarmogoyf and Scavenging Hughes is, is definitely decent against us. Um. Bobby? Bobby? Okay, well... Um... Okay. Uh, I want, like, 250 for top 8 -ing. I lost to a blue-white spirit so I can top 8. Uh, it was tough games. I feel like the match was pretty hard. Uh, ben Freeman played a very similar deck to me. Also top 8 It's chopped in top 4. Deck was really good. Um... We gotta cut these mutagenic growths. Um... They're just too bad. Honestly. Uh, we probably want a braid, I guess. And we just need some of these. That just sucks. I'm going to bring the Lava Dart back in. 
And let's leave three in. We're on the play, I guess. Like, we don't have a great way to beat Tarmogoyf, and that's a way to do it when they tap out for it. I just, I just go fast. We'll just kill him. We'll just kill him. Not worried. Thoughts on Esper Death Shadow? I don't know. Yeah, I played four colors Red Horde in Standard. Uh, it was fine. I think I could have played a lot better. This is a great starter deck if you're new to Modern. It's simple, it's powerful, it's effective, it's pretty cheap. Uh, great starter deck. This hand's good. Swift Spear. Why does everyone want to cut Soren from the Dreadhorde deck? Soren's like one of the best cards in the entire deck. Soren is so good. You're crazy. All right, what you got, fool? Swamp. All right, so assuredly fatal push. Uh, that's okay. We got a blister boy. Um, that's fine. We'll just spike them in attack here. Let's get fatal pushed and play blister coil. Like, there's no world they don't have Fatal Push here. Yep. Thoughts about the Black-Red Sword? I think all the swords are pretty bad. Okay, so this actually is fine, because they can't take our important card, and, like, we didn't get to draw a card, but at least put Sorcery in the graveyard, so it's fine. Okay. Land, go. If they have another one mana removal spell here, we're probably in trouble. Although Path wouldn't be that bad, because we would get closer to Reveler. Alright. Worst draw in the entire deck. Unless they have thoughts these or something, but that's really bad. Only have two of these. Mutagenic growth. Ugh, gross. Alright. So now the question is. Do I want to cast Mutagenic Growth just to put it in the graveyard so our Reveler is better? Because it's doing literally nothing right now. Well, do I want a Lotus Petal for my, my Reveler? I think I do. It sucks, but... Now uh, we have four spells in the yard and we're getting a land here, so... We draw any land, we can cast Reveler, and we draw... Spells is obviously good too. Drawing spells is great. I like drawing spells. Drawing spells is nice. Oh, keep shocking. Keep shocking. Alright. Lightning. Bolt. They ate my spell. We drew a mountain. This is the worst thing that's ever happened to us. All right, well, now we're just dead. Now they can remove my spells, and I can't cast Reveler, and I have two dead Revelers in my hand. Uh, I don't think this deck is very good against decks like this that are highly interactive. Um, one mana removal and one mana discard and two mana threats is is tough. Our deck's definitely better at goldfishing than it is at interacting. Um... So, not ideal. Um, obviously, our draw this game is pretty unfortunate. We drew both of these, but... I mean, if we could draw a way to kill this thing, that would be cool. But now we can't... I mean, we can. There's, there's no creatures in graveyards. Alright. Alright. 
I mean, come on, come on. Not, not the ideal game for us, for sure. I get to eat my last two spells, and uh, yeah. If we draw a bolt, we're definitely still in this game. Unless they play Goyfier. Of, of, of. <laughs> it's, it's pretty unreal. <laughs> These aren't very good, though. Ah! They have, a, they have a kill spell. They get to make the thing a 4 4, but what are we, we going to do? What are we going to do? 2000 resub. Horizon right, Canopy Lands making their presence felt. Alright. So, tough game. Obviously tough game, uh, but that's okay. That's okay. We're uh, we're two two now. We lost to Infect and Abzan. Uh, losing to Infect's tough. They had a, they had some pretty good hands. Uh, this deck should definitely beat Infect. I would feel beating Abzan's tough. I don't know if Abzan's actually a deck in this format because it hasn't been a deck for like three years, but. In fact, it's definitely a real deck and definitely tough for us. What's up, Killer Germ? You missed the Infect game? Watch it on YouTube. You can always catch my stuff on YouTube. You missed it. All right. Back to the action here. Let's... Go. Or watch the VOD, that's true. You are a subscriber, therefore you have access to my VODs. Hobbit Ratman. Forest. Birds of Paradise. Um. So, we're gonna lava dart here. Um. They've already mulliganed and scry to the bottom. Much as mana screw them. Lava dart. It's possible his deck wants like six canopy lands. We're trying four at the moment. Alright. Swifty. Spiky. Pew! What's up, Red Kreplin? Don't understand why Abzan isn't a deck. It's just not very powerful. Sacred Found... What is going on here? Birds of Paradise, Sacred Foundry, Forest, Stamping Ground, Trinisphere? That card's really good against us. Uh, don't know if there's a better card in the format against us than Trinisphere, but that's okay, I guess. I guess it's like Naya Ponza or something. Um, good thing we're so flooded, I guess. We can, like, double spell next turn with Metamorphose. Stone Range, sure. I think we're, like, probably going to win this game. Like, next turn we get to Metamorphose and light up a stage. In fact, for six, or lava dart. So 
So like this adds two mana. Uh, we can't do it again unless we draw a land. So we're gonna save this, I suppose. I think we just cast Light Up Stage. Lava Dart doesn't kill them, so. Uh, already played a land, but all right. Yeah, I mean, nice transfer, I guess. You're two. You're dead. Nice Trinosphere. Nice Trinosphere. Okay, um, so we're going to have to bring in our braids here. Um, let's see. A braid. I like Dragon's Claw. I mean, I, I mean, uh, Shrine of Burning Rage. Um, I like Mutagenic Growth. I think I... I like Gutshot, too, honestly. Maybe we could take out the Crash Through. It's bad against the uh, the uh, Trinosphere effects and things like that. And I'd like to cut one more one mana spell. But Lava Dart and Gutshot are so good against Birds of Paradise. It's really awesome. Um, can we cut a light up the stage? That's crazy. Like, if they have bolts and stuff, then growth seems great. But they have white, we might have path. Um, we could cut a creature. But they probably have some kind of removal. I'm gonna cut a reveler. I'm sure that's right. They might think we're playing Phoenix, bringing Graveyard Hate of some kind. Just shave a Reveler. They don't have Path and Ponza? That's fair. Then what's the white for? They have white. We have uh, our Mutagenic Growth to save us from uh, Anger of the Guts. Alright. This is a hand. I would love a gut shot, but... Our free spell is bad in the face of Trinosphere or good in the face of Stone Rain. Um, I mean, all right, that is not a uh, not a Bird's Paradise. Let's hope they have Stone Rains and not Trinosphere. Pew! Please Blood Moon me. Okay. Open fire. Carbonize. Wild size. Stone rain. Mm. I really hope this thing goes coast to coast. Turn two Trinosphere on the play. What's up, nerd girl? How's it going? Pillage! Alright. Can you play Mutagenic Growth with two lands in play? Oh, maybe you can. Because you're the Phyrexian mana cover. Let's try it. You're right. No. It says pay three. Because you're not paying the mana for it. You can't. That's weird. It's very weird. Well, let's just draw land, I guess. Probably get stone rained. Yeah, it is weird. I would think that, too. That Phyrexia mana is still mana, but you're uh, just paying life for it. I don't know. Fancy looking Chandra Torch Defiance. If 
only we can cast this mutagenic growth. I'm gonna try one more time. Nope. Land. No. All right. Modern. Modern's back to being the really, really fun format. When you draw a land, we just bolt them, and then bolt them, and then bolt them, and then draw a bolt, and then bolt them. Yeah, and that's bad for us. They're adding red, red. Inferno Titan or something stupid. Utopia Sprawl. Oh my god. Karn. Alright, we can go to the next game here. Alright, pretty fun game magic there. Pretty fun. But now we're on the play. So. Let's go. Blister, burn, blister, 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 burn. Alright, I mean, this is a pretty good hand, so we're going to keep. We're in the removal for, uh, for a Birds of Paradise, but, or an Arbor Elf. But it's pretty hard to complain about this one. Two prowess creatures light up a stage. Love to draw a gut shot. That would be nice. Point a mulligan to six. I like it. You love to see it. Love to see the dirty ponza player mulligan to six. They scry to the top. Mm. Alright, gotta find a burn spell here. Gotta find a lava dart, gotta find a gut shot. Let's go. We're gonna attack and light up a stage. Mutagenic growth. Alright. Do I just bomb this growth here? I think I do. If they cast Trinisphere, I don't want to be able to not have spells in my hand. Alright. Boom! Alright, big money on this light up a stage. Big money! We got a lot of hits. Bolt, dart, gut shot. Growth, light up a stage. Ah! Alright. Maybe we're in trouble. Um, Alright, we're going to play Buster Coil weird. And just hope to God they don't have Trinosphere. I don't think playing light up a stage into a possible Trinosphere is good. So, just get our stuff in play. Try and draw a land. All right, what you got? What rude thing you're gonna do here? We couldn't kill your bird, so you've assembled the combo of one drop plus three drop. What's your three drop? That three games in a row they had turned two Trinisphere. No, they had it in turn three, game one. All right, well let's just draw a land here. This is pretty frustrating. Uh, all right. Growth in response for Reveler. Yeah, that might have been better. Yeah, that was probably better. Just like dump these in the graveyard for Lotus Petals. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I would say we're probably going to lose. Trinosphere is pretty good against us. Pretty good. Our Lava Dart, our uh, Lava Dart 
gut shot, lightning bolt deck, couldn't kill a bird, it's on turn, on turn two. And that was the end of us. Alright, well, now we can kill, uh, Nahiri, I guess. Do we Manamorphos, Manamorphos and draw a card, or do we... I mean, just Manamorphos. Try and draw a land in case they stone rain us. Obviously can't use the mana, but... Alright, that's, that's pretty cool. So we have three spells in the bin. We should probably have four or five spells in the bin, but... We made a boo-boo. Pillage. Sure. Alright. Upgrade to be nice. I'm not gonna lie. I don't actually hate drawing a mountain there, honestly. Alright, you're at seven. I have four spells in the bin, four lands, and a Bedlam Reveler, so we are reveling, probably. I'm just gonna hope their hand is air. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Are you dead? Oh god, you're so dead. I love this. Please die. Please die. Heh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Alright. Looks dead to me. We don't really need that. We should gut shot this and kill them, but I'll take it. My stop is removed. Why is my stop removed? That is a huge tilt. Why is this stop removed? Unbelievable. Inconceivable. Probably still going to win, but that is annoying. Liquid metal coating my bedlam reveler. Look at that. Ever seen an artifact? Why isn't it an artifact when it's bigger? Alright, they're dead. It's fine. Despite Magic Online's best attempts, we're still going to win this game. Beating Trinisphere every single game with Blister Burn, the literal best deck of all time. Nice Trinispheres. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Out of my house. Good day. Alright, so 3 2 Blister Burn. Um, Abzan loss. That's a pretty hard matchup to win, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Infect loss was surprising, but Infect is pretty good now with that new card, uh, and Teferi also too, but 
This deck is dope. Um, I've always loved this deck. I think it's awesome. And it's very, very powerful. Uh, it's a good goldfish deck. Everyone's kind of goldfishing right now because Modern's gotten really ugly. Um, not sure exactly how many canopies you want. Four felt fine. Maybe five or six is a, a little better. But Lava Dart's dope. Gut Shot's dope. Um, yeah. Deck's super sweet. Good time for a deck tech? Absolutely. Absolutely. You could do a deck tech. Cool. But yeah, that's supposed to burn. I'll probably mess around with this list a little bit more. Experiment. Um, overall, though, this deck's great. Again, this is like a perfect intro to modern deck. It's not too expensive. And it's super straightforward, super powerful, super aggressive. I like it. So, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you YouTube folks later.